Both Texas senators were in Dallas today for the inauguration of the new city council. Senators John Cornyn and Ted Cruz were the invited guests of Mayor Eric Johnson, who is entering his second and final term. It was a rather unusual site for a city inauguration ceremony. Fox 4's Lori Brown live in Dallas with the details. Lori. Heather, Heather, Senator Cruz, Senator Cornyn told us that he was here to support the mayor who he has formed a friendship with despite their different political parties. Why are you here at this Dallas inauguration and your <laughs> Well, I'm, it's my honor to represent 30 million Texans, and um, in the course of that, uh, I get to meet some very talented uh, people like Mayor Johnson. He and I have gotten to be friends and uh, worked on a number of projects. The Republican Democrat working together? Yeah, people, I mean, that used to be something that happened occasionally, and it still does. On stage to introduce the mayor, Senator John Cornyn said Dallas is doing things right. Dallas is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. It's the driving force behind Texas many other states are experiencing. Senator Cornyn tied the city's success to its support of the Dallas Police Department. Dallas is the only major city in America to lower crime for two years in a row, according to FBI data. Mayor Johnson fought to grow the city's police force and improve public safety. It's truly amazing that both of our United States senators are present today. Before the mayor spoke, both Cornyn and Senator Ted Cruz left to catch a flight back to D.C. Johnson said Dallas has been described as the Wall Street of the South, attracting companies and people from Los Angeles and New York. According to the Wall Street Journal, New York City, the largest and most famous American city, lost nearly 470,000 people between April 2020 and July 2022 because of COVID lockdowns, rising crime, and an ever-rising cost of living. That's more people than live in the entire city of Miami. Chief Eddie Garcia alluded to the challenges of population growth and the pressure on his department when we asked if the success can continue. There's no light at the end of the tunnel for us. There's just another tunnel. While it is not clear what, if any, political reasons were behind the visits by Senators Cornyn and Cruz, Councilman Adam Bazaldua said he appreciates their support. For them to take the time to be here shows not only that we have the support from our delegation, but it also shows that we're doing something right as a city. Mayor Johnson said his priorities for the next four years are to continue to improve public safety and the city's park system and to lower property taxes. He says he wants Dallas to have the lowest property tax rate in the region for a major city.